In this video, we're going to look at what's new with dictation on the iPhone with iOS 16. In addition to dictating to your phone, what you are now able to do is fluidly move between dictation and your keyboard. Dictation will now auto-punctuate, so you don't have to say period or comma or question mark anymore. And you can dictate in the messages field. Let's see what I mean. Let's go over to my iPhone. Let's open up my notes app. We're first going to look at basic dictation. So I tap on it. I'm ready for typing a new note. Now in order to dictate, all I have to do is just go down to the lower right hand corner. You're going to see the dictate icon. Now before I press on this, when I press on this, what you're going to see, I'm going to read a paragraph. What you're going to see is dictation or the iPhone will automatically add any punctuation. So I will not say period, comma, or question mark. Also, again, the keyboard here will not disappear. What I'm going to do is double tap on a word and I'm going to dictate the correct word. I'm going to do this towards the end of reading the paragraph. When I'm done dictating, what I do is I go to the lower right hand corner again and then I tap on the dictate button and it'll stop listening to me. So let's go ahead and do that. Tap on it. While dictating on device, you can move fluidly between voice and touch. Type with the keyboard. Tap in the text field, move the cursor, and insert quick type suggestions, all without needing to stop dictation. What about question marks? Can you ask a question? About. And now we can see it took my dictation. It added the punctuation. I even selected text and replaced it with the correct wording that I wanted in there. And we can do this within any app. Now let's take a look at the Messages app. They made a nice change in the Messages app. I'm going to swipe up and now let's go over to Messages here. Now previous to iOS 16, over to the right of your message, we actually had an audio button here. This audio button is now moved into the app tray. I'm going to tap on my apps here. And then we have my audio button. What this did when I tapped and held on it, what it did is it recorded my voice. So if I wanted to send someone an audio file, what I could do is tap and hold on that. It would record as long as I'm holding on to it, and then it would send that file. Well, now they move this down into the app tray here. I'm guessing that not a lot of people used it, at least not a lot of my friends and family used it. But what I believe that they will be using is the new dictate button. We can see that it is over here to the right of the message. Now when I tap on this, it'll automatically listen to me and dictate. So let's go ahead and tap on this. Yes, I am in for pizza. What time are we going to have it? And now all I need to do is just tap on send. And it'll send that message. The last thing I want to show you is you can also dictate emojis. So I'm going to go back over to this message. I'm going to dictate, yes, I'm in for pizza with a smiley faced emoji. So now I'm going to tap on it. Yes, I'm in for pizza, smiley face. Tap on send and we can see we added the little emoji there. If you actually pronounce emoji, yes, I'm in for pizza, smiley face emoji. Now we can see that, whoops, I'm going to stop dictation here. We can see that it actually added the emoji so if you want to use the old-fashioned emoji, you can just say smiley face or wink. But if you want to use the new icons, you have to just add the word emoji to it. So that is how dictation works on the iPhone with iOS 16. As you can see, they added some nice touches to it. The keyboard no longer disappears, so we can make any corrections as we're dictating. We no longer have to speak any punctuation. And with the Messages app, we now have 
dictation built right into the message. And then if we want to add an emoji, we can do that the old-fashioned way by just saying the emoji, or we can add the word emoji to add the emoji icon. So that's how dictation works with the iPhone and iOS 16.